would have to know about everything. You don't have to know about it. Because you, you, the acute management is what emergency medicine is. And this is something I wanted to mention to all of you. I'll close the door for this. Something I wanted to mention to all of you. Because I find this amongst my registrars. We tend in emergency medicine to have some kind of inferiority complex because we expect ourselves to know everything that everybody else knows about each individual specialty. You must get over yourselves, get over this. Emergency medicine is about the initial stabilisation and management of acutely unwell patients. Resuscitation is our specialty. The rest is a secondary triage, initial diagnosis and acute treatment, the start of treatment. When you call up a neurology registrar, you do not need to know the exact anatomy and pathology. You need to know what your examination shows and that it's abnormal and it points to X. When you call up a surgeon, you need to know X. Don't be bullied. Don't feel inadequate because you do not have the same amount of knowledge that somebody that specialises purely on upper GI as they do. If you expect to have that, you will fail all your life because unless you become an upper GI surgeon, you're never going to have that. Understand what emergency medicine is about. There is this desire to want to know more, and that's great. I believe where we're headed in emergency medicine is that we will become subspecialised within emergency medicine. So there will be the resus guys, there will be the cardiac guys, there will be the neuroemergency guys. But now, don't feel like you have to know more than you have to know. Mel Herbert in the States, or one of the guys, Ma Ma Mel Matu says you need to know about 20 or 25 percent of the units know. You need to know what you need to know and then one step further. Okay? And I think that's quite right. But you don't need to know every freaking thing about that special. That's not our job. Okay? So it's very important. So when you start talking about necrosis, that's a step further. I don't need to know about that. If I wanted to know about that, I would do another specialty. Be very careful in yourself understanding what you need to know about an emergency medicine. The definition of emergency medicine is the acute stabilisation and diagnosis and initial management of patients. And this is what the exam is about. This is what emergency medicine is about. Be sure that you are a resuscitation specialist. Anaesthetics don't own resuscitation anymore. We do. Be sure you are a resuscitation expert. That's why the site's called resus.com, not called emergencymedicine.com. What we are expected to know better than anybody else is resuscitate. If you don't know that, start reading up, okay? But what I want to know is that when that baby comes in flat, or when mother runs in with the child that's not breathing, that I do not hesitate and know exactly what I'm doing. That's our special <laughs> Initial management and stabilisation of that patient. Don't get carried away and feel inferior. Hello. Uh, <laughs>